hi guys <laughs> have you guys seen these palm leaves everywhere these dried palm leaves people use them to decorate cakes some put color them some use them like that and they're absolutely beautiful so today i'm going to show you how to make it out of um wafer paper and how to make it out of food grade paper or parchment paper okay so the first one i want to show you guys how to make it out of parchment paper so the first thing you need is some of this parchment paper it would be better if you have the brown type but you can as well use this one and color it and like you can color this any color some put painted gold some painted pink and everything so today i'm going to show you how to make um the palm leaves for decorating your cakes out of parchment paper okay so we're going to parchment paper first so first things first you need to cut cut it into like uh, a leaf kind of shape yes yeah you need to first cut it into like a leaf kind of shape where like the top is more pointed and the bottom is a little bit more rounded yeah okay so and i want to do two different sizes today so this one first yes and then i'm going to do the second so what you want to do is to bend it okay i tried to like bring a contrast so you guys so you guys can really see it like you're folding it while like changing direction if that makes sense like you're folding it like you want to fold it and like make sure it's all folded and press it with your fingers so it doesn't like come off and it is going to take that shape so fold it in that and make sure you like stick to one um whatever distance you're using to fold it is the distance you use all through so that way it can be uniform so now we are done with the first thing we're sticking to like gum the bottom and stick it to something so you can stand on top of our cake so i want to show you guys how to do the second size yeah and if you notice for this one i'm making the top longer than the bottom that's because some of them have longer tops and some of them have like a more rounded shape so the second one has like a more rounded shape so we're going to do the same thing they're pretty easy to do yeah actually i would have bought the actual one but i'm not sure if it is food safe i see a lot of people use it but i don't know if it is food safe yet but and I want to be like, I'm responsible for what I give my customers basically. So I'm going to find out more about it. And if you see me using it, then just know that I found out and I realize it is food safe. <laughs> okay. So I think, cause I think a lot of people spray flowers with stuff so that maybe termites and insects won't eat them or maybe so they don't spoil on time. And those things might not be food safe because flowers are not like, whether dried flowers or fresh flowers, they're not meant like specifically for cakes or for food. Therefore you know ornamental purposes and stuff so this is the second one yeah and we are done with that so now what you want to do is take maybe a toothpick or better still um a long skewer and then take um i use you can use a glue or you can i use the glue gun and then you're going to put the glue gun on top of the um the skewer and then you're going to stick it on and that way you're going to make sure it is firm so that way you can put it on top of your cake like that or you can paint it first i'd rather paint it first though usually i spray it with some gold dust using my um airbrush okay so but for this for the purpose of this tutorial i'm just going to show you guys how to basically make it yeah and the one i want to use this morning i have like a cake to make for my customer and i want to use the one that is food safe i want to use the um rice paper one okay so now you're about to do the rice paper one and it is a little bit more complex than this one because you know like rice paper kind of splits like really easily if you bend it too much it is going to split so i'm going to show you how to figure that out yeah Okay, actually, I saw this on the internet and I thought, okay, my customer, my, my viewers might like this. So I'm showing you guys how to make this. I can't remember. I think I saw it like three or four different places. guys if you're wondering what kind of wafer paper i'm using yeah i buy them i buy just regular plain ones the thick ones yeah not the thin ones these people sell and print on so and i buy them on amazon so i'm going to put the link down below for you guys to click on and buy and it is very cheap if you buy it in bulk so i buy it in a packet of 100 there's another packet of 50 but i don't know if it's online but when i wanted to buy it i bought it a packet of 100 and that way it is way cheaper and easier for you guys to use especially if you're doing business that way you don't have to buy it one by one it'll be like times three the price okay so what you want to do is take a damp um 
um sponge yeah and make sure you squeeze all of the water out of it you don't want to leave any form of water in it it's a dampness you're going to use to dampen the wafer paper so that's what i'm doing if you notice i'm pressing it here water is not coming out and that's because i dampened it first I, like i squeezed out the water very well without like letting there be excess water that way to spoil my wafer paper okay so now we are going to fold it the same way we folded the first one the fact that we put water is going to make it a little bit more flexible than regular wafer paper but the mess i made here was like it was too damp <laughs> so it stuck together and it didn't work so i learned not to make the second one too damp so i just like dampened it a little and then we are going to fold so we're going to fold it in the same way we folded the um the parchment paper yeah that's what we're going to do and this one is going to be edible and the wonderful thing with this one is that you don't have to maybe um um glue a skewer onto it it is completely edible you don't have to use glue and glue a skewer onto it so all you have to do is stick it on your cake yeah unlike that you don't glue a skewer and don't worry it is going to stick because it is really firm it is a lot firmer than the parchment paper so don't worry it is going to stay the drier it gets the firmer it becomes and that makes it very easy to use and once you're done like that what i like to do is paint it and paint i can paint it with some i don't like to spray it with my airbrush because that way it becomes too wet and you know wafer paper is too like once it gets wet it becomes sloppy okay so and if you want it to be bigger all you have to do is cut a bigger um size of wafer paper before trimming it like cut a bigger size that way yeah like your um your edible um palm leaf will be bigger just make sure you cut it bigger and a little bit longer and if you want to give dimensions to your cake you can make different sizes of them and then stick it onto one cake it's usually very pretty i don't think i used it well because i was kind of in a hurry with this cake but i'm going to make more videos for you guys especially how i spray the um the one i made with parchment paper so you guys can see and i hope this is useful to you though okay so guys we're basically going to repeat the same thing and then fold and make sure you don't let your wafer paper stick together because if it sticks it becomes too difficult for you to separate it so make sure it doesn't stick and make sure you don't over dampen it so we're going to do the same thing to this ones and then we're going to have the final result okay so now it is time to paint yeah and for this i said to use some um rose gold some um bronze and then some um gold dust yes different colors but for the sake of this video like i'm just going to paint it with gold and because the cake i want to use it for i want to like i want it to have like gold accent and i want you guys to note that if you're spraying this with gold if you mix the gold with alcohol it's going to give you a more pigmented um edible luster yeah but if you're painting it dryly like this it won't be as um as shiny it won't be as much it won't be as pretty as it should be but i don't want it to be pretty i want it to look very rustic i want it to look like maybe the real thing a little just a little bit shiny okay so that's why i'm painting it dry so if you want to paint this and add some alcohol to it you need to like you're going to add a little um vodka to your edible gold dust and then you're going to paint it and that way it's going to give you more luster and it's very, going to be very nice so but the thing is you have to leave it to dry first so that it doesn't stick together so if you're going to do that make sure you have at least maybe one hour for you to leave it to really dry so it can be firm and strong but for the sake of this video this is all i need to do today and i hope you guys like this tutorial so this is the cake and i already made it all i'm going to do is just stick it on and, and i told you guys for this one you don't have to put a skewer or a toothpick or anything it is firm enough to stand on its own and it is so pretty so after doing that i'm just going to put a flower in front and i think i really like how this cake turned out <laughs> so if you like this video and you think you'll be able to do this give me a thumbs up and like leave me a comment in the comment section below so thank you guys and i'll see you in my next tutorial bye